If not in Russia, then where can you work and grow? You can find plenty of roads to walk along. at the end of 2008. I arrived in Russia not knowing even a single word in Russian. Here in Russia, there are many people from different countries, from Latin America, Europe, East Asia. It's cool. You understand that you're not the only foreigner here. When you arrive from a warm country, you can't guess how to dress. Never. I arrived in a light jacket. I understood that it was winter, but it was my winter jacket in Jordan, but not in Moscow. I liked computers. When I studied in Jordan, there were not so many computers there. We came to school and sat at the computer. The teacher didn't teach us. He just didn't allow us to press keys, being afraid of its breakdown. And I had a calling for it. I was invited to the University of Arizona in the USA several times. I was also invited to the People's Friendship University of Russia. They offered me a full scholarship. I was housed in the dormitory. I remember the day when we went out from this hall in academic gowns after receiving a bachelor's and master's degrees. It is a very tough university. And I am sure the People's Friendship University is much better than any U.S. university. When I came here, I couldn't speak Russian. We started learning Russian at pre-courses. We were 18 years old and had to learn the alphabet again. We had to write each letter hundreds of times. There were a lot of words I didn't understand. The most difficult thing for me was to remember that when you address an older or higher-ranked person, you must say you instead of thou. We don't have such things in Arabic. We only say, Your Majesty. I was very confused when instead of asking my teacher, have you checked my test, I addressed him informally. He looks at you and you understand that you've done something wrong. As a fresher, I found my first Russian friends. I had an impression that we came here not just to study, but also to exchange our cultures, our knowledge, and the energy each student has. We studied new habits, new traditions, new folklore, new languages. We came to the university. And all foreigners, I mean boys, were like, have you seen that girl? She's so beautiful. And that girl is very beautiful too. Russian girls are the most beautiful girls in the world, the most beautiful ones. When we talk of something beautiful, we say, it's like a Russian girl. She's blonde and has blue eyes. Jordan and Arab women are... Um, <laughs> they have a rough temper. I mean, they are less gentle with their kids and their husbands. They are stricter. And Russian women understand what a man wants. They understand when they can be more rough or more gentle. Russian girls are more cunning in their relationship. Arab women are straightforward. I have never thought that when I encounter one nation, I mean, the people of Russia, we, the foreigners, haven't thought that we will see such a diversity. 
They are quite different, but incredibly, all of them share common principles. For us, Russia is Europe. We moved to Europe. It's a developed nation with a highly developed science, infrastructure, and so on. I worked in Aeroflot for three years and noticed that the job became a routine. I decided to change something, so I looked for another job. It was obvious that it was a high-tech company. As for computer technologies, Severstal had a great advantage over others because they used state-of-the-art technologies. I went to a plant in Chiripavets in 2018 or 2019. They wanted to introduce an IT specialist to the production staff. I was like, I create software used by these particular people. I want to go and meet them. I enter and see smelted cast iron. I see welders working. You feel the temperature. You feel such a, you know, it looks as though you've entered a factory where everyone is busy and the hot temperature is not because of steel, but because of personnel's activity. I was really impressed. It's incredible. It's the experience I will remember forever. It's the feeling that you work for not the company alone, but for the welfare of Russia and for the iron and steel industry. It's our contribution to the import substitution. At first, everybody wondered, who is Wael? Who is he? Where is he from? At first, they didn't know how to communicate with me. But later, they accepted me and became my second family. I've gone through thick and thin with this team. We worked on difficult projects together. We shared success as a team. It was cool. And I became one of them. I became Russified. I lived as Arab in Jordan for 18 years. I was growing up there and I've been living in Russia for 12 years. I was an adult and understood the world around me. So I think I am Russian to some extent. In Jordan, they don't celebrate the New Year. But in Russia, the New Year is a great holiday. A decorated fir tree, the festive atmosphere, fireworks, the New Year address by the president, all these things make you think that you're not alone. You celebrate it with the whole country. There's a stereotype that an IT specialist is dressed like this and sits at the computer in a hood. But if they have a chance to have fun, they will do it like crazy. I am not an exception. I like to have fun. I like different activities. I play soccer. Sport is life. I used to like Russian steamed bath, but once we went to a country house. They had a Russian steam bath there. My first experience with it was not at a temperature of 70 Celsius or 80 Celsius, but at 110 Celsius. I asked my friends about it, and they said it was good for my health. 
but in 15 minutes, I understood that I was going to die. I needed some fresh air. We went to the steam bath without women. And as a Jordanian, I felt very awkward when men started to whip each other with bath besoms. So I refused to do that. I just wanted to sit and relax. Hello. Hello. How are you, sister? I'm fine. And you? Today is my day off, so I went shopping with the kids. I'll come soon. We'll go shopping together. At first, I didn't understand the Russian cuisine. When you come here and understand the combination of products, you understand that the Russian cuisine is truly diverse. I don't like porridge. I don't know how they like it. For me, it's always... How do you call this cereal that looks like teeth? Like small teeth. I don't like jellied meat. But the Olivier salad is superb. I can eat it always, for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and during feast as well. I can find it everywhere and enjoy the meal. We will cook a Jordanian meal called mansaf, some meat, rice, and a flatbread under it, and a sauce with cheese, a kind of cream cheese. This liquid is made of this stone. Honestly, I don't like cooking. And I can't cook. I have Aladdin, who can cook. High five. We boil the meat separately. In Jordan, we eat it from this dish and some eat it with their hands. At first, I didn't like Moscow very much. Moscow kept changing, so my attitude was changing gradually. Parks changed greatly. When we went to the VDNH exhibition or to the Gorky Park, we saw some amusement there. But now you feel that you're in a movie. During the 2018 FIFA World Cup, many people came from Dubai, from Jordan. They were my relatives and friends. They were surprised. Is this Russia? We thought it was snowing here and bears were walking down the streets. They said, don't look at Europe. Look how this country is moving ahead. They were incredibly surprised, especially my cousin from Dubai. He was in the USA, in Europe, and in other regions. He was in China. But when he came to Russia, he spent a week here, and he was shocked all the time. He asked, do some Russians eat caviar with butter for breakfast? We eat caviar with butter once a year during a corporate party in Dubai. As for the changes in Moscow and Russia, when you work in the IT industry, you know exactly where the country is moving, because IT is a leading industry. And when in the subway, instead of buying a ticket, you just go and tap a card. You understand that this country is changing very quickly. There's a significant difference between Moscow in 2008 and now. Just to compare, if you take the Moscow vast subway system, 
In Jordan, it will cover the whole country. Nobody believes that I can cross Jordan from the south to the north just in an hour and a half. Everybody would laugh. It's very cool. I was in different regions. In Kazan, Yoshkarala, Cherepavets, South Russia, Dagestan, and Chechnya. I was in Crimea and Anapa. I was in Rostov and Varonezh. Every city has its own advantage, its specific population. It has its own greeting. I was in St. Petersburg. But it was Anapa that touched my heart. There's a sand beach there. If you come there, just look at it and see the beach with white sand and the sea. It looks like Thailand. When you say Russia, you mean justice. We, the people of the East, of the Middle East, think that Russia may interfere with... I mean, Russia used to interfere with our internal affairs, but did it to restore the justice. And you understand that when Russia was involved in Syrian affairs, it stopped the war there. If not in Russia, then where can you work and grow? You can find plenty of roads to walk along. You can develop business apps. You can work in cryptography. As for video games, there's a striking development of this sphere. There are a lot of vacancies. The import substitution is growing too. You can make your product even more comfortable for Russia. As for the career options, in the IT industry, new horizons unavailable in other countries open here. I hope to start a family in Russia. I want to have a house of my own. It's my goal. I want to buy a house in a warm region and start a family. It would be cool. I love you, Russia.